Hi friends, in Mughal Empire, one of the important area, art and architecture. How did they develop this art and architecture that also we have to see? So in the period of Babur, first one is Babur. So next one Humayun, next one Akbar like that. You have to see the art and architecture which was developed in the period of, so this Mughals. Okay. The period of Mughals that was started in the year 1526 and continued till 1857. In the period of Babur in Afghanistan, Kabul. In the period of Babur, in Afghanistan, Kabul, Afghanistan, in Afghanistan, Kabul, okay, Aram Bagh was established, Aram Bagh, Aram Bagh was established by this one, yes, Aram Bagh that was established by this one. In the period of this one only what happened in the sense in, uh, so Ayodhya, Ayodhya what happened? Temple was destroyed and Babri Masjid that was established. In the period of this one only Babri Masjid. So Mir Bakshi established that Babri Masjid like that. It was a sage. Okay. So there is especially in the period of Babur. Okay. So first one if you see this Babur. In the period of this Babur. <coughs> in the period of Babur. In Ayodhya. In Ayodhya. Temple was destroyed. This temple was destroyed temple was destroyed in that place they established in that place in that place they established babri masjid they established they established babri masjid okay like that that is one of the things which happened. Have you got idea? So this one. Then in Afghanistan, Kabul established Aram Bagh, this one. But he was completely busy with wars only. First Battle of Panipat, then Battle of Kanwa, Battle of Chanderi, Battle of Gogra, like that. Continuously waging wars. That's why art and architecture that did not develop. Okay. So Indo-Persian, Indo-Islamic, we can see. Okay, architecture. So Indo-Persian, we can say, or Indo-Islamic architecture that all developed in the period of, so this one. So anyhow, Aram Bagh Garden that was established there in Afghanistan, Kabul, and this Babri Masjid, this was established by, so Mir Bakhi, or he was called Mir Bakshi, okay. This Babri Masjid was, this Babri Masjid, Masjid was established by, Established by Mir Bakshi. Mir Bakshi actually war minister like that it was said. Mir Bakshi used to look after war. Mir Bakshi. Okay, Mir Bakshi used to look after. But this one only established that one like that it was as said. Babri Masjid like that it was. Have you got idea? So in the period of this one he completely engaged in wars. Babur engaged in wars. So hence what happened? That much importance was not shown towards art and architecture like that it was said okay so like this anyhow what happened a painter was also brought with him to india like that it was said okay so that's the thing which happened then coming to humayun's period if you see in the period of so this humayun humayun if you see so this humayun in memory of especially this chunar victory he established din panaha in delhi din panaha then Panaha was established. Then Panaha was established in Delhi. In Delhi. Okay, that's one of the uh, things established. After his death, Humayun. So there is especially the tomb that was also established. The tomb that was also established. Humayun Nama that was written by. So especially Hum Gul Badan Begum. So Babar Nama. Babar Nama, that is autobiography written by Babar itself. Babar Nama, that is autobiography written by Babar. So, or it is also called Tuzuki Babari. Originally, it is Tuzuki Babari in Turkish language. Okay, then it was translated into Persian and it was named as Babar Nama. Babar Nama, we can say. The autobiography of this Babar, Babar Nama. That also you have to remember. So, Humayun Dinpanaha was established in Delhi. Humayun tomb that was also established there in Delhi. Humayun tomb. Humayun tomb that was established in Delhi. Humayun. Humayun tomb 
was established in Delhi. Humayun's tomb was established in Delhi. Established in Delhi. Okay, Humayun tomb that was established there in Delhi. What idea? This was called the replica of Taj Mahal. It was called, how in the sense it was called the replica of Taj Mahal. Okay, so that appears like a so mini, the small uh, Taj Mahal. That's why it is called that the replica of Taj Mahal. It was, it was called, it was called the replica of, it was called the replica of Taj Mahal. Right, like that, that's one of the things which happened in the period of Humayun. In the period of Humayun, Humayun Nama that was written by Gulbadan Begum. Humayun Nama, his biography. His biography, Humayun Nama was written by Gulbadan Begum. Humayun Nama, Humayun's biography. Humayun's biography. Biography, Humayun Nama. Humayun Nama. Humayun Nama was written by was written by Humayun Nama was written by Gulbadan Begum. Gulbadan Begum. Gulbadan Begum means Gulbadan Begum. What idea? Like that. So that also one of the things which went well in the period of this film. Okay, Gulbadan Begum wrote the book, this Humayun Nama. So then after Akbar's period went well for this art and architecture, no well. Akbar's period went well for art and architecture. Even paintings also developed in the period of so this Akbar, paintings also. But paintings reached the highest level in the period of this so Jahangir's period only. Here you see this Akbar. In the period of this Akbar, Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar in the period of Akbar. The period of Akbar that was started in the year 1556 and continued till 1605. That's the period of this Akbar. So, art and architecture, if you see, he established this Fatehpur Sikri. So, basically, Fatehpur Sikri, Fatehpur Sikri, that is 23 miles away from Agra. Fatehpur Sikri was established, was established by this one. Fatehpur Sikri was established by Akbar. That is one of the important ones. And even he shifted the capital from Agra to Fatehpur Sikri. That is one of the points. In Fatehpur Sikri, he established Ibadat Khana prayer hall. He established Ibadat Khana. This Ibadat, Ibadat Khana prayer hall was established. Ibadat Khana prayer hall was established by this one. That is also one. Then, so in uh, this one only, Ranga Mahal that was also established. So at Jodhabai Palace, Jodhabai, Jodhabai Palace that was also established by this one, Jodhabai Palace. So then Pancha Mahal was established, Pancha Mahal. This Pancha Mahal was established by this one, Jodhabai Palace that was established. Pancha Mahal that was also established by this one. Okay, then. During the period of this one only, Panchamahal that was established. Birbal's house. This Birbal's, Birbal's house that was also established by this one. Birbal's house that was also established by, so this one. Okay, at the same time, he also established a Diwani Khas, Diwani Aam. So, especially Shah Jahan's period, Diwani Khas, Diwani Aam, they were established there in, especially, so there is, in Red Fort only, but here this is established there in Fatehpur Sik, uh, uh, this is especially Sikri, Fatehpur Sikri. Fatehpur Sikri was established in memory of his guru, his spiritual guru, Sheikh Salim Chisti, right? So like that here, Ibadat Khana Prayer Hall, Jodha Bai Palace, Pancha Mahal, Birbal's house, Buland Darwaja, okay? He established this Buland Darwaja, Buland Darwaja was established by this one, you know well. Buland Darwaja with the victory of Gujarat, with the, with the victory of Gujarat, with the victory of Gujarat only this was established. So like that all these important things went well in the period of, so this one, with the victory of Gujarat only, this Buland Darwaja that was established, you know well.
right so like that all these important things went well in the period of this and even paintings also developed in the period of govardhan okay ustad mansur bishan das okay dashavan etc so paintings also developed in the period of uh, this one like that it was said so the akbar nama that was written by abul fazl aini akbari and akbar nama they were by so there is one only like that it was said nine important uh, uh, important persons lived in the court of this one they are called navratnas nine important persons lived in the court of akbar they are called how in the sense they are called navratnas in the period of moguls whose period navratnas lived like that it may be asking okay in the period of akbar in the period of akbar in the period of in the period of akbar nine important persons nine important persons lived nine important persons lived persons lived they were called persons lived persons lived they were called they were called they were called how in the sense they were called navaratnas they were called how they were called navaratnas they were called navaratnas how they were called in the sense they were called navaratnas so there is uh, like uh, faizi abul fazl tansein birbal raja man singh raja bhagwan das okay so ras bihari mal like that they were all so there is navaratnas like that so it was said okay so etc nine important persons lived in the lived okay in the period of akbar nine important persons lived they were called navaratnas okay in the court of akbar only so in the period of akbar in the court of akbar so there is uh, especially who are these uh, in the sense uh, so there is especially faizi faizi okay abul fazl abul fazl abul fazl then tansein 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 who is also one of the important person birbal okay this birbal is also one raja man singh birbal okay so there is uh, raja man singh raja man singh this raja man singh only conducted expedition against uh, there is uh, rana pratap singh like that it was uh, raja man singh raja bhagwan das raja bhagwan das bhagwan das ras bihari mal ras bihari mal's daughter only he married akbar married maryam was zamana ras bihari mal etc okay etc they were called how in the sense naratnas like that it was said have got idea okay so like that so all these important uh, so these navaratnas we are calling right so these all these uh, uh, things went well uh, in the period of this akbar paintings also developed in the period of okay so akbar like that it was said anyhow akbar's period went well like that we can say what and architecture that advanced well mainly you have to remember panchamahal buland darwaza they are important buland darwaza was established in memory of like that question was asked so this was established in memory of the victory of gujarat with the victory of gujarat only that was established that is one of the important points you have to I remember okay so then akbar's tomb located there in sikandra akbar's tomb so there is akbar's tomb akbar's tomb located in located in sikandra sikandra akbar's tomb located where in the sense in sikandra only it was located like that it was akbar nama aini akbari abul fazal already you know well so then ibadat khana prayer hall that was established invited different people to ibadat khana to know something then so he established this new religion you know well din e ilahi din e ilahi that was a new religion 1582 only that was established by this one believing one god that is the first and foremost principle of this one so then second point in that idol worship is not considered okay so the person who is going to join in that din e ilahi has to say allahu akbar allah is supreme akbar is appointed by him allahu akbar like that he has to pronounce then they say jila ilahi you are most welcome to this religion like that they say so then universal peace and brotherhood 
universal peace that became the main motto. Everybody in that who joins the Deen Ilahi, they have to celebrate. So there's birthday parties, they have to distribute sweets. And on that day, they have to decide their goal. What goal they have to achieve that should be decided on that day like that. So it was all related with this Akbar, you know, well. Okay. Akbar was very secular during the period of this Akbar only. It's complete freedom that was given to Hindus. So in the period of this one only, Tulsi Das lived. Tulsi Das. Ramacharita Manas that was a return. Sur Sagar. Sur Das. Sur Das wrote. Sur Sagar like that it was said. Okay. So there is uh, Sur Das wrote Sur Sagar in the period of Akbar only. In the period of Akbar. In the period of. In the period of Akbar. Akbar. Abul Fazal wrote. Abul Fazal. Abul Fazal wrote. Akbar Nama Aini Akbari. Akbar Nama, Akbar Nama, Aini Akbari, Aini Akbari. Just it's a biography like that you can see. Then Tulasi Das, Ramacharita Manas, Tulasi Das, Tulasi Das wrote Ramacharita Manas, Ramacharita Manas, like that it was said. First time even uh, slokas related with this. Hanuman Chalisa, we can say that was also found in, in this book only. Hanuman Chalisa that was found in this book. Ramacharita Manas, Sulsida, Surdas, Surdas, Agra blind poet like that it was called. Surdas was called Agra blind poet. Sursagar that was written. Sursagar. Sursagar was written by this one. Vithalnath, Vaishnavika Vartha, Vithalnath. Okay, Vithalnath. Vitalnath wrote Vaishnavika Vartha. Vaishnavika. Vaishnavika Vartha, like that it was said. Vaishnavika Vartha, that was written by. So, this Vitalnath, like that it was said. Right? In the period of this Akbar, what happened? Literature also advanced, paintings also developed, art and architecture also developed, like that it was said. Have got idea? So, like that, things went on well in the period of this Akbar. Then after, if you see this, his son Jahangir, Jahangir's period, if you see, in the period of Jahangir, Mughal paintings reached to the highest level, hallmark, you can see, in the period of this Jahangir, in the period of Jahangir, Jahangir came in the year of 1605, continued till 1627, that's the period of this Jahangir. In the period of this Jahangir, what happened? So, paintings reached to hallmark, okay, paintings, Mughal paintings reached to Hallmark like that it was said. Mughal. Okay, Mughal paintings, miniature paintings, we can say. So this uh, especially like that. Mughal paintings reach to hallmark. Reach to reach to hallmark in the period of this one only. Already you know the painters who lived in the court of this one. Keshav Das, Bisandas, Govardhan, Manohar, Ustad Mansur, etc. These painters lived in the court of this Jahangi. So hence we can say that Mughal painting reached to hallmark in the period of Jahangir only. In the period of Jahangir. Okay. At the same time, administration of justice that also went well in the period of Jahangir because so a bell of justice that was established there at Agra Fort. Immediately judgments have been given. Immediately. So this Divan was dealing with civil cases. Okay, Sifa Sala, Sifa He Sala, he used to deal with the criminal cases like that it was. Chief Justice was called Kazi, Chief Justice was called having the sense Kazi, like that. In the period of Jahangir, what happened that all uh, developed like that it was said. So then during the period of this one only, so things went on well. So he established Mughal Gardens, that is one of the important things. Mughal Gardens were established by this one. Mughal Gardens, okay, they were established. Shalimar Bagh Gardens, they were also established. Shalimar Bagh, okay, Gardens, they were also established by this. Shalimar Bagh Gardens, they were also, okay. So, like that, that is also one of the things which went well in the period of this. In the period of Akbar, even Agra Fort, that also you have to remember. In the period of this, Akbar, especially what happened, Agra Fort, that was established in the period of Akbar. Agra Fort, we can say. 
Agra fort that was established by this one. So Allahabad, so this fort that was also established in the period of, so this one only like that. That's one of the things which went well in the period of, so this one. So then in the period of Jahangir, Mughal paintings reached to the highest level or hallmark. In the period of Jahangir, okay, Mughal paintings reached to hallmark in the period of this Jahangir. So these Mughal gardens were established, were established, Mughal gardens were established. So this one, then Shalimar Bagh gardens in Kashmir, in Kashmir they were also established by this one established by this one that is also one of the points so then in the period of jahangir only what happened a bell of justice that was also established there at agra fort like that so these important points went well so jahangir nama that was the book written by him jahangir nama autobiography written by him was jahangir nama autobiography written by him was autobiography his autobiography was jahangir nama his autobiography, his autobiography, okay, his autobiography, we can say Jahangir Nama, Jahangir Nama, that you have to remember, Jahangir Nama, that was the autobiography, he was good at uh, this one. Then the tomb of this Jahangir located there in Lahore. The tomb of Jahangir located where in the sense it's located there in Lahore like that it was you got idea so like that that's one of the important uh, thing which uh, went well in the period of so this one okay then after after this uh, Jahangir so then uh, the period of Shah Jahan that came to power. Shah Jahan came to power in the period of Shah Jahan so art and architecture for art and architecture his period is called golden age Shah Jahan's period. Shah Jahan. Okay, Shah Jahan came in the year 1628 and continued till 1657. At last, he was imprisoned by his son Aurangzeb in Agra Fort. Shah Jahan's period is called Golden Age for Art and Architecture. Shah Jahan's period is called. His period is called. His period is called is called golden age golden age his period is called golden age for art and architecture for art and art and architecture because number of developmental activities developed in the period of this one only okay so Tezu mahal shiva temple that existed and Tezu mahal that was destroyed like that it was said he established Taj mahal Taj Mahal took how many years? 22 years to establish this one. What are the important constructions? Uh, we can say monument. So Taj Mahal that was established by this one. Taj Mahal that was established. Tezo Mahal that was temple that existed like that it was said. And Taj Mahal we are calling. So and Red Fort that was established. Uh, so by this one. Red Fort we can say. Red Fort was also established by this one. Okay, Red Fort we are calling. In Red Fort only Diwani Khas and Diwani Arm. Diwani Khas and Diwani Arm they were established. One is Diwani Khas we can say. And one is Diwani Arm. Okay, Diwan, Diwani Arm they were established like that it was said. Diwani Khas and Diwani Arm they were established. Taj Mahal that was established, Red Fort that was also established. Diwani Khas, Diwani Arm they were established by this one. Okay, at the same time, Peril Masjid that was established in this period there in Agra. Okay, Peril Masjid that was also established by this one there in Agra, we can say. Biggest Masjid in India, Jama Masjid, we can say. This Jama Masjid that was also established by this one in Delhi. In Delhi only this was established, you know, well. Jama Masjid, we are calling at a time 60,000 people can pray. So, and Peacock Throne that was established by this one. This Peacock Throne was. So, this Peacock Throne was also established by this one. Peacock Throne, the cost of Peacock Throne that was. So, 19 crore rupees like that it was said. 
peacock throne the cost of peacock throne that is 19 crore rupees like that it was you know, got idea so like that all these important things went well in the period of this Shah Jahan. Shah Jahan's period is called how it is called golden age we are calling this one as golden age right because number of developmental activities that took place with that only once again what happened they started collecting the tax pilgrim pilgrim tax that was collected once again like that it was said kohinoor diamond also existed in the court of this one so kohinoor diamond also existed in the court of this one kohinoor okay kohinoor diamond diamond also existed in the court of this one only like that so all these important points you have to remember in this and even paintings also developed in the period of this one that's one point so then shah jahan nama that was written by inayat khan shah jahan nama this shah jahan shah jahan nama that was written by nama written by written by inayat khan so Inayat, Inayat Khan only wrote this Shah Jahan Nama like that it was said. Shah Jahan Nama that was written by whom? Inayat Khan. So that's the thing which happened in the period of this one. So then in the period of this one, one Telugu Pandit lived like that it was said. Telangana Telugu Pandit. So this Jagannatha Pandita wrote Rasagangadharam Gangalahari. Jagannatha Pandita wrote Jagannatha. Jagannatha Pandita. This Jagannatha Pandita wrote, wrote, okay. Rasa Gangadharam Gangalahari. Rasa Gangadharam. Rasa Gangadharam. That's when Gangalahari. That's when Rasa Gangadharam Gangalahari. Rasa Gangadharam Gangalahari. They were written by this one. Jagannatha Pandita wrote Rasa Gangadharam Gangalahari like that it was said. So literature also developed well in this period like that it was said. You got idea? So all these important uh, things uh, that went well in the period of uh, this uh, Shah Jahan also. Then coming to, so this Aurangajib if you see Aurangajib. Okay. Aurangajib's period also went well like that it was said. Aurangajib's period if you see. So he established this. Uh, okay. So in the period of this Aurangazib, so there is a mini Taj Mahal that was established. Aurangazib, okay, this Aurangazib came into force in the year 1658 and continued till 1707. In the period of this one, so Aurangazib's period, so his wife Dilras Banu Begum's tomb that was established there, there in Aurangabad. He established, he established the tomb of established the tomb of his wife tomb of his wife okay that was called bibi ka makra makbara which was called which was called which was called bibi ka makbara bibi ka makbara makbara we can say bibi ka makbara that was called bb ka makbara like that it was said it was called how it was called bb ka makbara you got idea it was called how in the sense it was called the mini taj mahal also this bb ka makbara it was also called it is also called so there is a mini taj mahal or dakkan taj mahal it is also called so this one is also called okay you have to remember this one is also called this one is also called also called mini taj mahal mini taj mahal we can say mini taj mahal or dakkan taj mahal or it is called dakkan taj mahal mini taj mahal or dakkan taj mahal so that was this mini taj mahal we are calling otherwise it was called dakkan taj mahal like that all these important things went well in the period of this one. Have you got idea? So all these important points you have to remember in this that is uh, the thing which happened. Later Mughal's period what happened in the sense that much uh, architecture was not developed. That much uh, development did not take place like that it is. Okay. So then what happened in the sense. Uh, so Padushan Nama. Padushan Nama that was written by. So there is Abdul Razak Lahari. Abdul Razak Lahari. 
so wrote padusha nama like that it was so uh, sad okay so like that that is also one so there is uh, especially padusha nama that was also written padusha nama padusha nama padusha nama written by written by in this period it was written by who so abdul razak lahari like that it was said abdul razak lahari like that it was lahari okay so that's one of the books like that it was said okay so this is padusha nama we can see have a what idea so there is uh, all these important things went well in the period of so this went aurangazeb's tomb that is also located in aurangabad it's located where in the sense mini taj mahal it is called mini taj mahal located in located in aurangabad mini taj mahal located in aurangabad and the tomb of aurangazeb also located in aurangabad so there is the tomb of so the tomb of the tomb of aurangazeb the tomb of aurangazeb located in located in aurangabad in aurangabad so otherwise previously this aurangabad was called daulatabad okay aurangabad otherwise previously it was called how daulatabad it was called daulatabad previously like that it was said. have you got idea like this all these important things went well in the period of this way okay so this uh, then this mini taj mahal also located there in mini taj mahal also located in aurangabad mini taj mahal that is the tomb of aurangazeb's wife mini taj mahal also located also located in aurangabad only in daulatabad or aurangabad okay that you have to remember previously that was called devagiri Daulatabad previously Aurangabad was called Devagiri previously okay previously previously so this Aurangabad was called Aurangabad Aurangabad was called previously Aurangabad was called Devagiri Devagiri it was called Devagiri kingdom of Yadavas that was the kingdom of adavas that was the kingdom of that was the kingdom of yadavas that was the kingdom of yadavas so got idea so like that all these important points uh, you have to remember in this later moguls came to power but in the period of later moguls that much developmental activities did not take place you know later moguls especially bahadur shah one came to power but once again in the period of this bahadur shah one what happened in the sense so second time this uh, tax was abolished by this one previously akbar abolished jizya tax on hindus in the same way bahadur shah one he also abolished this jizya tax but by killing his brothers only he came to power one is ajam one is kambaksh okay ajam and kambaksh they are the brothers of this bahadur shah one ended life of these two and he came to power after him only what happened jahandar shah came to power then farooq shah mohammed came then mohammed shah in the period of mohammed shah only what happened these two things were last which are these two things which are last two so this nadir shah nadir shah was called persian napoleon i told you he was called persian napoleon in 1739 only attacked so delhi he took away these two important things one is peacock throne and one is kohinoor diamond they were taken away by this nadir shah who mediated between nadir shah and mohammed shah it is hyderabad nizam asaf jan nizam ul mulk so that you have to remember who mediated means so this hyderabad nizam like that in later uh, this mogal period what happened the involved here to come to power at the same time so there is a court a royal court politics only they interfered and at the same time financial crisis that also arose systematically they did not do the things with all this what happened decline started to decline that has started to mogal empire what are the causes of the decline of mogal empire means weak and unworthy rulers came to power if worthy and strong rulers are there automatically things will continue not only in the kingdom you see not only in the kingdom wherever it may be if unworthy weak rulers feeble rulers inefficient rulers 
they are there automatically things will be collapsed okay that's why always worth worth is important worthy rulers okay strong rulers that's important so there's a main uh, cause for this and at the same time war of succession war of succession indicates for example Shah Jahan he was there Shah Jahan got four sons in these four sons actually good relations amicable relations must be continued okay suppose if you say the ramayana rama lord sri rama rama lakshmana bharata how these affectionate relations continued among brothers that we can see in the a period of ramayana we can say that is uh, treta yugam you know well so but here what happened four brothers they are there but this fellow what happened plotted the death of all okay aurangazeb aurangazeb what happened plotted the death of his brother darashiko he was killed murad he was also killed shashuja was also killed so for what purpose in the sense war for succession after father who should come to power somebody should come to power but here what happened fellows so they did not uh, digest the things that's why selfishness jealousy all these developed in the minds of these people a war of success and that took place in that so even their own brothers they started killing one another and like that only what happened that also became one of the causes so next one what happened in the sense especially this uh, Deccan policy of this Aurangazeb Aurangazeb did not uh, give much importance and religious policy of Aurangazeb also he did not give much importance to this Hindu community also equal importance not much equal importance was not given that also at the same time Marathas developed Maratha Shivazi that also became one of the causes we can say okay like this so all these uh, causes became cause for this mainly financial problem that also arose so this is because all the money that was spent on constructions by this Shah Jahan there was no money left in the treasury at this moment he wanted to go against some reasons but it's all in vain so like that all these uh, no problems all these causes became causes for the decline of even this Mughalam. anyhow at uh, especially at last uh, in the year 1857 in Sipai's mutiny the last uh, Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah II he was arrested and he was sent to Mandalay exile in 1858 at last he passed away he was dead in the year 1862 in jail only like that Mughal Empire what happened that was completely ended like that it was have you got idea? So, art and architecture is one important area that you have to know. Okay. So, sometimes uh, some question. Panchamahal was established by like that. It was asked. Birbal's house was established by whom like that. It was Azar. So, four important things are given and match the following only they will ask. Din Panaha. Din Panaha that was established by this especially. So, Humayun only. Agra Fort. Agra Fort established by Akbar only. Panchamahal established by Akbar only. Okay, Perl Masjid that is by Shah Jahan. So then in South Indian region in Aurangabad, BB Ka Makbara that was established by Aurangzeb like that. So in massive following also this art and architecture sometimes that is asked. So that you have to remember. Okay, right. Thank you.